Hello everybody, happy Monday. It is Tisha here and I am bringing you this video from Rodos, Greece. And I have to say, I actually feel a little bit guilty doing this right now because a lot of you are either probably somewhere very cold or you're probably at work. And as you can see, I'm in a beautiful warm place and I am hardly working. Um, that said, I'm, I'm stopping in to connect with you and I, I wish I've had more time to do this on my, my adventure here in Europe, but um, good to connect with you today. I received an email from a girl yesterday who was asking me my opinion on calorie counting. And what I want to say about calorie counting is that I've never really done it. I didn't really do it before. I moved towards a vegan diet and I still certainly don't do it. I especially don't do it these days. Um, that said, um, I have a number of opinions with regards to this that I would like to share or to offer to you. So basically, you can definitely, in my, in, it's my belief, eat a lot more per weight of healthy foods, raw foods, uh, vegan type foods than you know the processed stuff and there's a number of reasons for that your body is going to process real food very differently than it processes processed fake food food that's full of chemicals that food is going to stick the rest will be metabolized and assimilated and eliminated what isn't needed whatever so keep that in mind your body is going to deal with the food differently and that's what's important as well as you know perhaps the calorie part of it so it's not it's not as narrow or as black and white as that so take into account the type of food you're eating processed foods if you eat them at all should be in in moderation otherwise they're going to start to affect your organ functioning your liver isn't going to start is going to start to to um, you know feel the consequences of those choices and so is your metabolism therefore and, and all of your other organs are going to have are going to be affected too so it's not just the food it's how it affects your body during its processing and also overall what effect it's having having on your organs so if you eat well the food is easily digested and assimilated and used for energy which is what food and eating is for we eat for energy um, as opposed to you know just eating this junk food that your body doesn't know what to do with and it really I always imagine it just sticking inside of us so that's the first thing that said if you're eating if you go on to a vegetarian or a vegan diet and you start eating almond butter or peanut butter or something all day long like by the spoonfuls and people do that people sometimes go on a vegan diet and they feel hungrier so instead of eating tons and tons of vegetables with fruits and then moderate portions of you know the nuts and the seeds and the avocados and those amazing things instead they go on a vegan diet and they do one of two things usually they eat tons of nut butters and nuts or tons and tons and tons of grains like like uh, you know good grains but if you eat even if you eat quinoa all day long like a huge like pots of quinoa all day long you will probably start to gain weight because it's just more food than what you need so start to get in touch with how much food you really need for, for your activities. If you're feeling tired all the time, yes, you're probably not meeting your calorie needs, but you'll start to just intuitively figure it out. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with quinoa, there's nothing wrong with eating grains, there's nothing wrong with eating nuts or seeds, there's nothing wrong with eating any of it. Just again, be, be mindful that if you're eating a, a jar of nut butter a day, that is like, that's like probably your full day's calories right there if you're thinking in calories. And again, we don't want to think necessarily that literally. If you're eating McDonald's like crazy every single day and you have tons of excess weight, you could go to eating a jar of almond butter a day and you probably would lose weight for a while. But you know, all of these things, we tend to go so black and white with them with everything with regards to nutrition and diet. And you have to figure out what's right for you. You have to get in touch with what works for you. It is such a personal journey. So take these things into account. For the most part, eat really well, eat healthy. That's what you deserve. That's what your body deserves. Like, so, so start eating from a place of self-love and naturally you'll start to lose the excess weight. With that, just be moderate with stuff. Have the almond butter, have a big handful of walnuts sometimes, but don't eat perhaps a huge bag of walnuts all day. You don't have to overthink the fact that it's good food or a bad food. All you have to realize is that's too much. We don't need that much. So we, we're in this culture, we live in this world where we're eating all the time because it's just what we do at these certain times with these certain people and it's like, whew, 
I think we need to get back in touch with what food is for. Food is fuel. So eat to live, eat to do the things that you love to do. Um, you know, it's nighttime, you're not necessarily running around doing all your errands or chasing after your children anymore. Well, you don't need as much food anymore. You know, it's these kinds of things. I hope that offers some clarity. That's my opinion on calorie counting for the most part. I think there has, it has its place. Eat clean, eat well, you don't have to worry as much. See you soon. I wish you were here, genuinely, truly. <laughs> Bye.